The SAS trooper killed in Afghanistan yesterday was Lance Corporal Leon Smith. He was 33 years of age and from Wellington. Lance Corporal Smith was a brave and courageous soldier who served his country to the utmost. And I would ask the media to respect how devastating his death is for his family and leave him to grieve privately during this particularly difficult time for him. The second SAS death in Afghanistan in a little more than a month shows just how dangerous this mission is. But it is an important mission and we intend to complete the deployment. As the Prime Minister said yesterday, it is critically important that New Zealand plays its part in the fight against global terrorism. New Zealand is not immune from this threat and we need to keep working with our allies to make the world a safer place. The reason for the initial deployment in Afghanistan was to ensure that Al-Qaeda would not have safe haven in Afghanistan. After September the 11th, the Taliban government specifically said they would continue to provide safe haven to Al-Qaeda, even though United Nations resolutions required them not to do so. The Taliban are still trying to overthrow the Afghan government by force. That is why the 48 nations of NATO ISAF are there to enable the elected government of Afghanistan to sustain itself. In doing so, we protect New Zealanders from the risk of international terrorism. Our deployment in Afghanistan consists of both the SAS and the Provincial Reconstruction Team. Both face dangerous tasks. Both have resulted in fatal casualties. The Provincial Reconstruction Team is working to ensure that the Bamiyan Provincial Government can take full governance and security responsibility within the province. The SAS is mentored and partnered with the Afghan National Police Crisis Response Unit. And as has been evident over the last two years, this means that the SAS are deployed on operations in support of the CIU. They closely guide the CIU during these operations to help in building up the CIU's capability, and that has been progressively achieved. Each deployment and each individual mission is dangerous. Every one of our soldiers in Afghanistan know this, and they continue to serve with great bravery and courage. I pay tribute to Corporal Leon Smith and to his family and to the wider defence family. And on this occasion, I give my aroha and condolences to them. General Rhys Jones will now give you the full brief on the operational circumstances that led to the death of the Thank you, Minister. Take a minute to hand out um, the information.